See how I got this look with the Natasha Denona gold palette. Keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If you're new, welcome. I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty, luxury and lifestyle videos. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss a video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so today I've done another holiday glam look with the Natasha Denona gold palette. I think you can tell I'm really enjoying this palette. I did, this time I did a bit more of like a, it's still like full holiday glam, but um, it's just a bit, it's less like red and in your face. It's just a bit, a bit different, you know? And this, the star of this look is this gold. So I just went for a bit of a halo eye, did a bit more of a deepy vampy kind of lip. Not everyone likes to rock red on Christmas or festive season. And I will show you guys how I make this look now. Okay, so I've primed my lid, with my standard MAC paint pot, done my brow as well. So ready for my shadow, I'm going into Dijon and I'm using my Sigma E35. And I'm just popping that as my transition shade. So I'm just blending that and then I'm going back in, picking up, building. Just keep going until you feel like you're happy with the amount you've got. And then I'm going into my MAC 242 and I'm taking Log and I'm actually patting that on the inner and out, inner corner. I'm bringing it up and my outer V, bringing it upwards and winging it out. And I'm just using this flat brush so I have a bit more control and placement of where I put the shadow before I blend it outwards. Otherwise, you go in with a big brush, you make a big mess and you look like a raccoon. <laughs> So I'm just patting it down, placing it. And then I'm going into my 217, nothing on it. And I'm just blending that out where I've placed it, blending it, winging it. And then I'm connecting the two together at the top. And now I've picked up log again on that 217 and I'm patting it down and then blending. So I've sort of made a guideline for myself. Okay, so I've picked up some more of the shadow and I'm just putting that on the inner corner and blending again and connecting where they meet just where my creases so creating that halo sort of effect then winging it out in the corner next i'm taking my e35 with dijon again and just placing that back where we put it initially where we lost coverage now i'm taking my finger and i'm going into the shade oro and i'm going to place that in the center it's okay if we overlap on the brown and i'm just going to place that down and bring it all the way up because of my hooded eyes so placing it down, how gorgeous is that shade? Look at the pigment. And it's going to look quite sort of messy and unrefined around the edges because we're using a finger. So we're just placing it down as you can see. And then I'm going into my MAC 242 and I'm going into log and I'm just going to place that shadow in the outer and inner corner. And I'm overlapping it with the Oro with the gold so that I get a bit of a, it helps with the blend and makes it look a bit seamless. Then I'm taking the edge of that brush and I'm actually going back into log and I'm just connecting the top and I'm laying that shadow down in a line just to be precise. Then I go into my Sigma E40, no shadow on it and I'm just blending those edges so it looks nice and crisp and clean. That's what it looks like so far. Going back into my finger, just placing that on the center. So taking care not to make it messy again. And then I'm going back into my 242 with the shade and I'm just creating like a mushroom top. <laughs> so I'm just making it a bit rounder at the top and extending it over just so that it looks more flattering when I open my eyes. So it's not straight all the way up. And then I'm going back into my E40 and just blending the edges. So just making it look nice and crisp. Then we go into my usual Wayne Goss number eight and guess what? We're tight lining. Going into log and tight lining my upper lash line. Then taking my 223 from Zoeva and going into Dijon and doing my lower lash line then taking log and just using the outer corner just doing outer corner lower lash line so we blend the look and connect everything seamlessly then taking our 217 with nothing on it and just blending those together and then we're going to do a wing liner using my Fenty Beauty fly liner doing a nice wing and then taking my Ardell Demi Wispy lash and popping that on so this is the finished look so i will say look at that lash application guys 
<laughs> the right eye is perfect the left eye doesn't know what it's doing so the left eye I did first off camera and I kind of put the lash a bit upwards rather than straight on so it's at an angle so that's why it looks way more dramatic the right eye is actually the correct way I would like to put my lashes on especially with the demi wispies they flare out at the corner so that you can actually see the makeup look I spent ages blending <laughs> so again I don't really wear lashes all the time so every time I put them on it's like I'm doing it again for the first time lashes is something that I'm trying to practice with and get a lot better at my right eye is good again you can see because my hooded eyes you can actually see the look the left eye the lash completely dominates the look so <laughs> just thought I'd point that out I know you guys probably saw that and even with the right eye the inner corner looks like it's falling off so I probably should have put a bit more glue but you know Trial and error practice makes perfect. Hey guys, just some points to note. I think you should definitely should do your eyes first with this palette and then do the rest of your makeup, especially when you're using the thicker, chunkier glitters and metallics. They tend to have a bit more fallout even if you use your finger. So just use it beforehand and you'll be all peachy. I really like the way this look turned out. I think this is definitely good for like a holiday party or even if you're just not keen on red or just bold. Bold, I mean, the eyes are pretty bold, but you know it's gold it's really nice this is i think this is what you think about when you think of this palette i will be linking everything i used to finish the rest of my face in the description box down below so be sure to check that out and i will be doing another look with this palette this week and then we'll be moving back to the Mega max palette so i'm really enjoying making looks with this palette so just a little sort of disclaimer if you like guys i'm sure you already know this but you know don't feel like pressure to go and spend this kind of money buying this kind of palette you definitely don't need it you can find dupes elsewhere you can use what you already have in your collection and make it work and be inventive with this this is also this just to inspire people who already maybe already have this palette and are a bit um stumped as to looks to have or maybe you're curious or maybe you are in the market for the palette and you just wanted to see the kind of looks you can make with it but i definitely wanted to put it out there guys don't feel like you have to buy all the makeup items i use in my videos or the products you see definitely not an essential it's just a it's a one it's just makeup guys it's not serious but i just wanted to say that because i know sometimes especially with the way companies are pumping out products and you know everyone's posting different looks and different makeup items you kind of get FOMO and you just you know you want to be part of the hype as well so just a reminder guys you know you don't don't feel like you need this kind of palette things look more attractive on youtube and people use stuff and you become a lot more switched on even though the value for money is there it's still a big investment to shell out that kind of money on a makeup product so don't feel pressured to ever buy anything that i'm using guys Thank you so much guys for tuning in to this week's video. We are continuing our December twice weekly uploads. I'm actually having a lot of fun playing all this makeup and creating these looks. So I'll see you back here on Thursday for another look featuring this palette. Comment below guys, what makeup look are you considering for the holiday season? Or just say hi, whichever it is. Love to continue the discussion in the comments guys. Thank you so much again for tuning in. I can't wait to see you back here. Click here to catch my last video. Click here to also subscribe and click here for more from you, Speedy Closet. Till next time, guys.